Hello Capricorn, this is Teresa from Tarot by T. Welcome to November. And this is your, I'm about to do your love taroscope for November. Before I do that, I want to ring the bells and call in some good energy. Let's create some sacred space around this reading. And I want to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your comments. And thank you um, also for those of you who have purchased a reading. I really appreciate your business and I enjoy working with all of you. So thank you for your support. Um, so now let's get to November. What's happening for Capricorn in November? What does Capricorn need to know about love in November? Love and life. We'll see what we get. What does Capricorn need to know about love and relationships in November? Temperance card. The Two of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. The Strength. The Four of Swords. The Sun. The Nine of Cups. The Ace of Swords. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so let us see. So you're starting out the November with the Temperance card and the Two of Swords. The Temperance card is a card about balance. It's actually, if you look at the card, it has the, an angel on the card. And the angel represents the Archangel Michael. So it signifies that you're getting spiritual guidance at this time. So you're, if you're feeling called to go into a certain direction, Follow that intuition, follow that guidance, because it's coming from beyond. Um, the other message about this card, the temperance, is about finding work-life balance. It's possible that you might have been, you might be working toward a goal, and you might be neglecting other areas of your life. So it's a, a reminder to take the middle road. Don't go to extremes. Um, the card is actually about alchemy. It's about blending two sides um, to create the gold. Um, and it's really, like on a higher level, it's really about balancing your unconscious mind with your conscious mind. And also, um, on a mundane level, it means... Learning how to compromise, learning how to find the middle ground. Sometimes you can't always get things your way, and you have to. And you might be dealing with people who have opposing views, so you have to try and see things from their perspective and try to find to create a win-win situation. So you might have had a, um, you might be at a standoff with someone in November because the Two of Swords is a card of indecision. Um, you might be standing at the crossroads where you have to decide which path to take. And you're trying to decide, okay, what would be the right um, path for me? And there might be someone that you have maybe disagreed with in the past. Um, and both of you are, it's like you're at a stalemate. And both, each, each person is waiting for the other person to take the initiative, to make the, a move toward reconciliation. And I think you, um, and you can see that here with the two queens. You have the Queen of Cups looking this way and the Queen of Pentacles looking that way. So there may be someone that you're just, you haven't been seeing eye to eye with. And maybe you need to have a conversation with that person. Maybe you need to sit down and say, um... To create harmony again, to, to reestablish harmony, sit down and talk to them and um, explain how what your position is, explain how you're feeling, 
because it, it's I think it's possible that you're both seeing things from different perspectives and you're not you're not seeing eye to eye you're, you're not meeting you're not finding common ground I mean if you look at these two cards here they're not looking at each other they're focused on different things so you need to sit down and have a conversation and, and lay your cards on the table and just explain how you feel and um, why you're choosing certain things over other things um, and try to find a compromise. This card is about compromise. It's about um, not going to extremes of emotion, not going to extremes of position um, and trying to create a situation that where it's like a win-win, where you're not just giving up toward the other person and the other, you know, where you're creating something that you can both agree on. And I think that'll be your way of uh, fixing anything that, uh, any kind of conflicts in relationships. In the past, you had the Two of Pentacles. So you might be juggling a lot of projects, a lot of different, you've been working on many things and it's, um, you're kind of getting tired. You, you need some rest because you've got this Four of Swords coming up. Um, in the past, you have the Strength card. Um, so it's the Strength card is a card about learning how to control your, um, your inner demons, your inner beast. It's taming the beast within. You see this woman is taming a lion. And it's really about trying to get your, getting your needs met without going to extremes, without being angry, without being um, forceful, without creating a scene or creating some kind of drama. Um, because a lot of, this card represents allowing your emotions to run, to get out of control. So it comes up when someone is gets angry when they don't get their way or has a temper tantrum or has deal, is dealing with issues of anger. Um, you have to get a grip on your emotions. So that your emotions, that you're controlling your emotions, and they're not controlling you. Um, and you may have had that issue in the past, but you're working on it. And it, sometimes it also means counseling, like going to someone for advice, going to someone to help you um, navigate difficult situations. Um, and you're learning, and you're learning to find the balance. Um, both these cards are about balance and, f and not going to extremes and learning self-control and learning to find the middle ground without, um, you know, having black and white thinking. Learning to compromise, learning to see how th things from the other side, finding that, um, that win-win sweet spot. The Four of Swords coming up in the future, you may have... Um, gone through a difficult time and now you need to rest. You need to rest and think about where you've been and where you want to go. So you might have been really busy in the month of, of October, especially September and October. Those were crazy months. So now in November you need to take it easy. Um, you need to rest and recharge. In the future you have the Sun. Now the Sun is a great card because it means that whatever problems you're experiencing or you have experienced in the past, you have the potential to solve it and to make things right. So the sun, when the sun comes out in a reading, it's like you you know, it's like it was, if you it's like your life has been it's like metaphorically you've been going through like a rainstorm and now all of a sudden everything clears up. You can actually clear up any problems in November if you're willing to communicate. Um, if it's a rela in a relationship situation, the sun can sometimes mean marriage. So you could be, if you had, um, you might have had a falling out with someone and then you reconnect and you work through it with counseling or some type of um, guidance and now um, you're making things better and things are good again or they will be in November. And um, so you might, and you're having fun. The sun is a card, when it relates to relationship, it's two people who really enjoy each other. They enjoy being together. They have a lot of fun together. 
Um, so you, you might be patching up a relationship in November and where you're having more time to enjoy life and to really enjoy each other. So maybe you're, you're deciding, you know what, I have been working too hard. I have been a workaholic. I have been neglecting my family or my lover. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some changes. I'm going to take some time out. I'm not going to, I'm going to give myself a break. Um, and you have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. So if you have a dream or a goal, um, you have the potential to make it a success. You have the Ace of Swords here in your environment. So you're fired up. You've got all this energy. You know, Mars is in Capricorn right now. It's going to be moving into Aquarius um, in November. But while it's in Capricorn, it's boosting your energy. Uh, when Mars is in your sign, you have the energy, you have the drive, you have the initiative. Um, you've got that warrior spirit. So use it. Use it while you've got it. And you will create something um, that, you can, that you'll be successful. That will be successful. This is a success card. If it's a career situation, um, that represents success. If it's a relationship, it could lead to marriage. It could be... Um, success all around um, and sometimes the temperance card with the two of swords that could be you're going to be resolving things by the in November by just you know within the month you're going to resolve any problems any imbalances any um, stagnation in a relationship is going to you can work it out you just have to drop your guard and talk about it you have to be willing to talk about it because people aren't mind readers. You know, a lot of times people get really angry and um, they don't talk about why they're angry. And they expect another person to understand it or to just know. And that's impossible. You can't, no one can read your mind. If you have an issue, you need to talk about it. If you wait for someone to figure it out, you might be waiting forever. So it's much better to just confront the thing, confront the person, lay your cards on the table, be honest about it. Speak from the heart and and get it resolved. Um, and you have that potential in November to solve whatever problems you're facing. Because you have the Sun and the Nine of Cups. These are wish fulfillment cards. These are good cards. And you have the blessings. Um, so you have spiritual forces working in your favor, pushing you or influencing you in a positive way. Um, now you have this Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups is someone who's very sensitive. Very can be psychic. So it could be that one of your goals in November is developing something um, along the lines of psychic or healing ability. You might be working with someone who's a healer or a psychic or a sensitive or someone who's very on a spiritual path. And that could be a water sign. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, maybe you had some kind of misunderstanding with this person. You need to make amends. You need to um, talk things over. And let this person understand where you're coming from. You know, maybe they don't understand where you're coming from. And um, this queen, I have a feeling that it could be you because it re represents Earth. Pentacles represent earth signs. So that could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So that could be someone that you're going to be dealing with. Someone who's, but I have a feeling it, it's representing you in this reading. Um, where you're, you're really focused on the future and developing your talents and um, establishing some more financial, some financial security. Because Capricorns or all the earth signs are, um, they really work hard for the money. <laughs> then because they value material possessions because it makes them feel safe and secure and especially Capricorn Capricorn wants to know that they're safe they're very careful and they're workaholics they just work because they always have a goal they always have something they're trying to achieve and they always strive for excellence they put they go the extra mile they put in that extra effort so you're looking at developing your talents in the month of November You've been fired up. You've got all this energy. You want success. You're going for your dream. Um, don't doubt yourself because you have this in your negative thinking sector. 
Don't doubt that you can get everything that you want. You can. Just apply yourself. So you are going to be making some decisions. If you've been avoiding decision making in the past because you're afraid of what the outcome might be, you're going to be making some definite decisions um, in November. And this card is a card of September, October, November. So that's the time for So you've already started um, taking the initiative as of September. You've been really working since September. Um, working on achieving an, a goal or working on a new path. And you've been really working on yourself, too. Um, you're releasing some of the psychological blocks that you've had in the past, things that have held you back that you might not have even been aware of. You know, sometimes we have an attitude and we're not even aware that we have this attitude um, unless somebody has the courage to tell us. So unless you go, you're very, um, if, I mean, if you go for therapy or something, um, then things might come up. But... Um, with the Sun in the future, and the Temperance card, and the Nine of Cups. I think November is going to be a very good month for you, Capricorn. Um, you may want to work on reaching out to this person. If you've had a falling out with someone, maybe you might, you might want to think about making the first move. Maybe contacting them. I think um, you, you'll get a, a good response. Because basically, there's a lot of harmony in this relationship. So you 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 are you were connecting with someone that you really got along well with, and for some reason you might have um, lost touch or had some kind of misunderstanding. Um, but I think you can make things right. You can make things. You can reestablish this this relationship and get on the same page. Um, you just have to reach out to that person. So don't be afraid to reach out. I think you can, and don't be afraid to go for what you, uh, your dream. You'll be surprised at the response. I think the person will be happy to hear from you. And I think that um, you will have a favorable connection. I don't see anything negative. I mean, now this person can be a little paranoid and sometimes can be a little sarcastic when they feel that someone's against them. Um, but because they have a vivid imagination and they imagine all these scenarios. So sometimes they can just, you know, be angry thinking that you are feeling a certain way without even talking to you. They just assume that what they know is correct. So that's why you have to clear things up. And you can with the sun, sun in your future. You can have a conversation. You can clear things up. If there's any kind of misunderstanding in your life, you just by taking the first move and communicating, you will be able to make things better. So that's my reading for November, Capricorn. And I hope you make the right decisions, ones that lead to the star and the nine of wishes, the nine of cups, a wish fulfillment card. I hope you get everything you're hoping for, and um, thank you for listening. I hope this reading was a help to you, and I will talk to you again in December. Thanks, Capricorn.